you guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I wanted to share my favorites with you guys so these are all the things that I have been loving for this past month some of these items are beauty items and some of these items are non beauty items so we'll start with the non beauty items first because they're a little bit more not so exciting and then we'll move on to the beauty items so the first thing that is a non beauty item is the stuff I've been cleaning my shower with I don't know about you guys but when you work and then you have other things to do the last thing you want to worry about is cleaning your shower that's no fun nobody likes cleaning bathrooms so I've been loving the Method Daily Shower Cleaner. This has got a very nice scent to it. I love the way it smells. It just smells very fresh, almost like fresh laundry. This is my third bottle I went through in January. That's crazy. So what I've been doing with it is after everyone takes a shower, I leave it beside the shower. I'm like, look, spray it down. So that way there, it leaves less work for me to do. And our showers have been very, very clean and it smells, always smells really good in the bathroom. So I love this stuff. And because it's Method, Method is a more natural type of cleanser. So love this if you're looking for a natural cleanser and something just to help you out in the bathroom area so you don't have to clean quite as often this is perfect the next thing is another cleaning tool my husband purchased two of these for me and these were like gifts that he purchased so i have two of these and i know it's a little excessive but we have an upstairs and a downstairs and it's kind of like hard to carry things up and down because we have a spiral staircase so it's kind of a pain in the bottom so he bought me two of these so these are the Roombas so the iRobot top things we named ours I don't know does everybody name their iRobot or is it just me we named ours so the upstairs robot is Fred and then this one is our downstairs one and her name is Ethel so we have Fred and Ethel so it's so good because I can time these things so that while I'm at work they go ahead and clean the floor I come home and my house is like almost spotless my showers are clean my floors are clean it's leaving less work for me to do I don't think you absolutely have to have two of these I don't think you that's not necessary but with us like I said having an upstairs and a downstairs and having the spiral staircase and you know the vacuum really can't go up and down by itself so that's the reason why he purchased two for me I think they're fantastic though if you're thinking about getting an iRobot they are magical we had one a long time ago and it like just died so its name was Fred as well so we have Fred Jr. and Ethel now so I love that thing though I think it does a fantastic job it cleans everything once in a while I'll come home and it'll find it stuck somewhere where it didn't get to finish its job because it got stuck underneath of something or it's decided to eat a cord so that happens but it's not that big of a deal so I really do love the iRobot though because I feel like they are so helpful in saving me time so I can spend time doing more fun things like spending time with my family and things like that. So things like that are very important. Be able to spend more time with your family. So things that cut time out of cleaning, things that nobody likes to do, they're always a great thing. The next thing is, <laughs> is, is this little Instax. This is the Mini 9. I have been loving this little camera. So this is like an instant camera. I love this because for me, I love taking pictures. Don't get me wrong. I love taking pictures on my iPhone. I love taking pictures with my my actual camera, but this is just fun. There's something nostalgic about taking a picture and having it automatically print out for you. And then you can hang them on the fridge or you can do something creative with them. I don't know. There's just something very nostalgic about it. And I love this little thing. I've had it for a while and I finally decided to start busting it out again. And I've been like really taking lots of pictures. I have pictures of the puppy I, puppies I took with this. I have pictures of my sons. So I just think this is a really cool thing to have because it's just kind of nostalgic. And then I feel like it's a little bit more personable because it's not like you can share these with everybody because they're it's a little digital print or not a little digital it's an actual print so it's an actual print out picture these are real small so they're not really big or anything but I just think this is so cool I love when the little nostalgic type things like that the next thing is my hair dryer my husband I have a lot of expensive items this month I feel a little bit like crazy that I have so many expensive items I do apologize for that but this is the Dyson hair dryer that my husband purchased for me for Christmas oh my goodness this has really helped me out I feel like this is making my hair feel healthier I don't know if you guys have noticed or not but I feel like my hair looks healthier now that I've been blow drying it using this versus my old hair dryer this cuts down my blow dry time it also just makes my hair feel healthier I feel like I don't have to do as much to it once it's dry I can leave it completely straight or once I curl it I feel like it holds curl better I don't know I just think this is a magical little tool I love it I know it's expensive and I don't think it's necessary to purchase something so expensive but I do enjoy mine and I am loving using it so you know the next thing is my planner so this is my planner right here this is the what is it called I don't even know what it's called to be honest with you I've got all kinds of little notes and stuff in here this is the oh, law of attraction 
planner. So this one, it looks like this. I got it in like, the, I think it's like a rose gold. So it does have this little design on the outside. It's hard to see. It's kind of like embossed into it. I just love this though, because I feel like it's very devotional almost not really like like spiritually or anything like that but for yourself for like mental self it has lots of good tips in here on how to like kind of put yourself at ease and things like that so things to clear your mind i have been having some major issues with anxiety so being able to just kind of journal things down has been really helping with my anxiety so this has just been a very helpful thing in helping me to calm me down writing things down tracking things for me, I'm a person who likes to list things anyway. I like to write things down. It just feels good to write things down and get them out of your head and clear your mind a little bit. And then also it does give you breathing exercises and things like that you can do in the morning. So I love this journal. It's very, very nice. I am so excited that I got this. I know you can purchase this on Amazon. So if you were interested in purchasing one, I think that they're amazing. So really love that. Now we're moving on to beauty finally. Whoop, whoop. So the first beauty item is this palette right here. This is the Viseart palette. So this is the Grande Pro. The only thing I don't like about this, mine came in like this packaging right here. And mine has this buckled center right there. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's got this buckled center. And it kind of bows out. And I'm like, what the heck? For as expensive as this palette is, you would think that the container that it's going to stay in would be well made as well. But it's not. But the palette itself is really good. It does open up kind of like a door. So you pull open one side, you pull open the other. And you have a mirror inside it does have that plastic flap in there and then you got all these gorgeous colors these blend so well for me i love viseart shadows i think they are absolutely amazing i know it's a very pricey palette <laughs> like i said this is a pricey favorite i don't know why but this is really really good very very good i do recommend this if you're looking into getting any kind of really good shadows or if you're someone who does cosmetics uh, if you do beauty for a living, like if you do makeup for uh, other people for a living, this is fantastic. Do highly recommend it. I am so happy to have this. I know, like I said, it's expensive, but I've been loving it. It's nothing bad whatsoever with that palette at all. I can't find anything wrong with it. It's just spectacular. The next thing is another palette. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar palette. Oh my gosh. First of all, this smells so good. I just want to lick it is that bad it smells like oh my gosh like if you go to Hershey and you smell their stuff oh my gosh it smells like going to like the Hershey factory here's what the colors look like inside my mirror has decided to not work as well though my, my mirror doesn't stay up anymore for some reason and I don't know what I've done to it but it won't stay up so which is unfortunate but the inside of this is absolutely amazing the colors are beautiful they do have some matte shades over here plus all your shimmer shades for your lid this is a spectacular palette if you haven't touched this yet i do recommend going into the store putting your fingers in it trying it out because it's really really good the dripping diamond shade or yeah the dripping diamond shade is oh my gosh phenomenal so so good love this palette the next thing is a hair care product so this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle. This is a leave-in conditioner. Conditioner. So you spray this on your hair. It's going to heat protect your hair. Plus it's going to help with detangling your hair. It just smells so good. It smells like uh, the... Mm, la, not, not La Vanilla. It smells like the Pure Sugar. No, oh my gosh. What is it called? Oh my gosh. Pink Sugar. I couldn't think. I had to look back at my perfumes. It looks like it smells exactly like Pink Sugar. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells so amazing it leaves my hair feeling very soft it does heat protect my hair which is probably also beneficial with me using my blow dryer quite as often as i have been so this is just an amazing product i know that the only place that i've ever been able to find this on is on birchbox so if you're interested in checking it out i will have a link below for you to, to check out through birchbox i just think it's really really good it smells really good if you like the scent of pink sugar you're going to love this the next thing is something that smells not so good, but it works amazing. This is the Resetics, Resetics Active Skin Therapy. This is a hydration and repair treatment. I picked this up at Rite Aid. I got it for like my hands and stuff, but honestly, I don't like the smell to it. It smells, ugh, it smells kind of like, I don't know, like motor oil a little bit. I don't know. It just smells really terrible, but it's a very thick cream. What I've been doing with it is putting it on my feet after I take a shower because I don't like the smell of it and I'm not going to put my feet near my face. So no worries there. 
but I put this on my feet and my feet have become so hydrated, so feeling good lately. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So if you buy something like this and you're like, I don't like the scent of it, use it for your feet. That's what I do with it and it works really well because it's so thick and it keeps your skin hydrated. So especially during the winter months, this is a good time you're wearing these socks throughout the whole winter. Put this on and then help to hydrate your skin so that during the spring and summer, your feet are nice and ready for the spring and summer. The next thing is from Bath and Body Works. So this is the Warm Milk and Honey Body Lotion. You guys, I was just talking about how my anxiety is a little bit higher than what it normally had been. This is really good for anxiety for me because it smells really good. It has cinnamon essential oil, um, clove essential oil, and it's supposed to soothe for restful sleep. I don't know that it soothes for restful sleep, but I do know I feel calmer once I put this lotion on. It makes me feel calm down. I don't know what it is in it, or I do know what's in it, but I don't know how it works. It's like magic. It makes me feel very calm and relaxed when I use this. My anxiety level gets so high sometimes that I just, I kind of like feel like I'm crawling out of my skin. And this is something that even throughout the day, if I put just a little bit on my hands and just sit there and smell it and kind of like meditate a little bit with it, that sounds crazy, I know, but it really does work. I love this. Love, love, love that. The next thing is a perfume. This is the Gucci Bloom. Oh my gosh, this smells like springtime. Makes me so excited for spring coming. I don't lucky look, looking outside and seeing no leaves on the trees and being like, oh my gosh, everything looks so terrible outside right now. Soon as spring comes around, I'm super excited about that because I'm going to plant some flowers and this is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of planting flowers and just smelling very fresh and refreshed. So I love the smell of this. Then I have two foundations. So the first one is a more expensive one. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This is a really good foundation, especially for my dry skin. It is a very good coverage to it. I would say it's almost full coverage. It works well with my dry skin. I heard that it works well with every type of skin to be honest with you so I think this is just a really really good foundation I kind of like try to sample out and then I bought it and then I'm like oh my gosh so happy I have this this is a really great foundation I took that with me when we went to Virginia Beach and it worked really well there the next one is a more expensive a more affordable one this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I have the shade 120 this one, I've heard people that don't like this, but I am somebody who loves this foundation. I don't know why, but when I put this on my skin, my skin just looks perfected. My skin looks evened out. I don't have any problems with trying to cover up anything. It does a, has really good coverage to it. So I love this foundation. It smells fine. It, I don't see any bad smells to it or anything. It lasts for a long time on my skin. So really, really good. If you haven't tried this before, definitely check that out. Then we have a highlighter. So this is the Ofra. This is the Ofra Everglow. This is the Nikki Tutorials one. Oh my gosh. The top two shades right here, the white and the more gold shade right there. So spectacular. Let me swatch this for you. Oh my gosh. So spectacular. There's the gold. Like, look. Do you see it? Oh my goodness. And here's the white. Make sure I get it in pretty good for you. Oh, do you see how beautiful that is? They are just so gorgeous. I love these on the skin. I love them for inner corner highlights. I just think they're spectacular. For me, I have a hard time finding a highlighter that doesn't accentuate my imperfections because I do I do have acne skin who is still healing. My, I don't have acne anymore, but I have acne scars and things like that, so I don't want anything to accentuate that. And this doesn't accentuate anything. I don't really use the shade down here, but I can use it for my eyelids, so I'm not really worried that I don't use it for my cheeks. If I'm using two out of three, that's not too shabby. But I will tell you, if you are thinking about getting the whole set, which is the three lip products in this, I don't like the lip products. They're not that good. The colors are just, oh, they don't work for me. I mean, that could be me personally. I did swatch them in one of my one of my latest videos. I don't remember which one. I, was, I think it was like the Makeup Basket Monday or something like that. Or the Get Ready With Me. It was the like Get Ready With Me. And it's just not good. They're, they don't look good on me at all. The one makes me look like a zombie. The other one is just way too bright and orangey. So they just don't work. The next thing is the, the Too Faced Sweetie Pod. This is supposed to be a bronzer. I don't use this as a bronzer. I use it as a blush. I love it swirled together as a blush because I've been feeling like I need some sunshine. I need some something warm in my life. This feels really, it feels really good. This looks so beautiful on the skin. It gives you almost that sun-kissed glow onto your cheeks. It has that little bit of peachy with a little bit of bronzy mixed in with it. So it looks just like a sun-kissed sun -kissed skin. Love this. Smells good. Smells like peaches. It's not real strong though. It's like Mine's actually pretty weak now. 
I don't really smell it much at all anymore to be honest with you but it does have a little bit of a scent to it that smells like peaches so if you like the scent of peaches you're gonna love this if you don't like the scent of peaches you're not gonna like it but I do like it as a blush I don't like it as a bronzer but as a blush it's beautiful the next thing is something because I do have some redness still going on like I said with my acne that's still healing I've pretty much gotten rid of most of my acne I don't know if you can tell or not but most of my acne is gone I just have a lot of scars that are left over, so I've been still using the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Redness. I need to get another one of these. I was going to get one during when I had the Ulta coupon or something. I think I still have my Ulta coupon. Actually, yes, I do. I still have one more. I have because I mailed one and they sent one. It, it, they email you one and they mailed one. It was weird. But anyway, I might get another one of those with that coupon because this stuff just works amazing. Mine's starting to dry out. I almost finished it up, though. I can't believe I finished this. This is like crazy to finish this product because you only need just a little tiny bit of it it covers redness so well if you have a lot of redness going on to your skin this is going to be your best friend i know now they have different shades of it so if you don't like the actual this is the regular shade this is the one they came out with initially so it was only one shade now they have a bunch of other shades that go along with this so i do love this and highly recommend it especially if you have any kind of redness going on to your skin the next thing is something for hydration. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is the Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Oh my gosh, speaking of smells, this smells like the Flintstones. Do you remember the push-ups? I think it's what they were called, the push-ups, the Flintstone push-ups. That sort of reminds me of like a creamsicle. It smells so good. It's very hydrating. It gives you your skin just a little bit of illumination. And illuminated, not really highlighted, but illuminated skin is actually very trendy right now. Everybody wants their skin to be nice and glowy because of that everybody's skin is kind of dry throughout the winter. So this will give your skin that illumination plus it hydrates it. It's just absolutely amazing. And it smells like a creamsicle. So win, win, win all the way around. The next thing is the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the 24 karat pure luxury cleansing butter. I have a small sample of this right now. I used to have the giant jar of this and then I used it all up and then I got this one and I'm like oh my gosh now I remember why I love this so much. It smells so good. I know that 24 I know that gold is actually not that good for your skin but it's something that you're just putting on your washing right off so it's not that huge of a deal but it just smells so good and it's very very creamy and it helps you remove your makeup so easily. I missed this and I didn't realize how much I had missed it until I got this little sample of it and I'm like oh my gosh I really do love you I need to get another big one of these this is really really good if you're looking for something to remove your makeup and it smells very clean and very almost creamy you're gonna love this the <laughs> what the heck was that the next thing is the Amande this is the supple skin uh, L'Occitane oh my gosh L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I need to purchase this oil. This oil smells absolutely amazing. It reminds me a little bit of like baby powder. It reminds me a little bit of like a Cabbage Patch doll. I don't know. It just smells so, so good. You put it on your skin, it leaves your skin very nice and hydrated. I love this on my skin. This is like the third or fourth sample that I've gone through in this past month. It's crazy, but I have. And these are all half an ounce, so when the full size is only like three and a half ounces, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to use that up very fast because I think it's like the three and a half ounces, like $50. I'm like, I want to get it, but $50 for three and a half ounces, that's expensive. So, oh, it smells so good though. It smells so amazing. The last thing is something that a company sent me because you guys know that I love perfume so, so much that I have a giant perfume collection. <laughs> I counted them up the other day and I think I have like 50 perfumes. That's ridiculous. Nobody needs that many perfumes. So this company sent me this. This is the luxury scent box. This is so cool because what you can do is they will send you two or two. They'll send you a perfume of your choice. They'll go through and do like a little survey and then you'll figure out what scents work best for you and they'll send you a perfume. They sent me two to try out. The two that they sent me are in these little containers right here. They do twist up so they're super easy to use. They're very easy to travel with. These are like ad atomizers. Is that how you pronounce it? So they're super easy to travel with. They come in different colors. I love this red that looks perfect for Valentine's. So I think you can actually request the color that you want as well. So this one has in it, it has the Viva La Juicy Glossé. So this smells absolutely amazing. So now that I have it like this too, I don't feel like I need to buy the full size. So I think something like this subscription service would be great for somebody who's like me 
and you have a ton of perfume and you're like, look, I need to stop buying perfume, but you can't because you're like, I want more. I want every scent that comes out that I really love. This is a good way to like get that under control because full size perfumes are very expensive. This is like $14.95 a month. Very affordable. I will have a link below for you. They have sent me a little code for you guys, you guys to use. It doesn't benefit me whatsoever. It's just a code for you to get you guys to use. The other scent that they sent me is this one right here. This is the Bonjour Senorita. Oh my goodness. This smells so, so good. It smells so fruity and fresh and reminds me of being a teenager for some reason. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this scent. This scent is absolutely amazing. I like how easy these are to travel with because they just twist up and twist down. And you saw how easily I was able to take them in and out. So when you order a new one each month, you'll get a new one of the little containers like this. And you'll just pop it down inside of your little container here. Twist it down and you're good to go. Throw this in your purse or put it on your vanity. And these last for a month. Each of these will last you about a month. And they are how many ounces in each of these? Um, of course, I can't even read. This is 0.3 fluid ounces. I'm going blind, guys. This is 0.3 fluid ounces. So that's going to last you a good amount of time. I really love this little item right here. The luxury scent, bar, scent box. Oh, my gosh. Because I think it's going to keep me from buying so many perfumes. I am a perfume hoarder and I need to stop. I need to stop buying so many perfumes because they're going to go bad. This way here I can use them up and then feel good about using them up. And I'm not spending as much money each month. Because I'm buying like two and three perfumes every month or every other month. And that's ridiculous. That's a lot of perfume. So if I go to this route instead it's going to save me tons of money. I think this is an awesome idea. This would also be really good for a Valentine's gift for somebody if you're looking for something for Valentine's. I think they have men's fragrances as well as women's fragrances. So if you want to get something for your significant other, you can do that as well. And for $14.95 a month, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And like I said, I will have a little link for you below if you're interested in signing up and it will have a little discount code and everything for you. So I just think it's a cool thing to do if you are someone who's like me and you're really into perfume. Other than that, those are my January favorites. I'd love to know what products you've been loving for the past month. Let me know. I know I had a lot here to talk about today because I've been loving on lots of stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.